and this woman, Erica Russell, in the ritual of hand fasting which sanctifies this relationship in a publicly recognized and committed ceremony to celebrate their engagement. Eric and Aaron, most of us here know that you are still undeniably quite young. It would be remiss of me not to offer you the best advice that I can, based upon my observations and my own life experiences. Since we have not had the time or opportunity to do any ministerial counseling, there are topics and questions I wish for the two of you to consider seriously in this time before you take the next step in marriage. These are not easy questions, nor do I want you to try to find immediate answers, but rather consider them to be critical success factors for the two of you consider and discuss with one another. Do you feel strong and good around this person? Do you recognize that your feelings are your own responsibility? Can you be quiet with this person? Do you have the same feelings about money and children? Do you each take care of yourself? Do you each follow through on what you say you are going to do? Can you take care of one another when ill or hurt? Do your skills complement one another? Do you keep similar levels of mess or values of cleanliness in your home? How does each one of you handle stress and anger? And how do you react to stress or anger in others? Are you prepared to grow individually in different directions and still remain a viable and healthy relationship? I would offer you this advice. Know yourself. Know the difference between a problem and a deal breaker. Know why you love. Learn when you should love from a distance. Fear stagnation of emotional evolution. Do everything in your power to understand the difference between a rough patch and something that is unsalvageable. Do everything in your power to understand the difference between obligation and habit and love. Know yourself. Know why you love. You have grown in this partnership for four years from a very young age crossed into adulthood. You have both met and overcome various challenges, both individually and as a couple, and it has made you stronger. These two have determined that their life pathways shall be traveled together, and so are committing themselves to this journey. They have not, however, come to this place alone, and they are not the only ones who are being asked to make a promise this day. All of you here represent the community of friends, loved ones, and family who share their lives. No relationship exists in a vacuum. No matter how long you have known them, you each have a responsibility to uphold them, to think kindly and lovingly of them, to be supportive of this relationship in thought, word, and deed. I ask you now to commit to uphold, defend, and support this couple, in these vows, they will tend to one another. If you agree to this, please raise your voices in two words, we will. We will. We will. Of your own free will and accord to this crossing of the path to share your life together. Erica and Aaron, you have decided to exchange rings to one another. To provide an outward symbol and a visible reminder of the vows you are taking today. I have the ring. Now, take into your hand the ring that you will wear. Erica, I have not the right to bind you to Aaron. Only you have this right. If it be your wish, say so at this time and place your ring in the palm of his hand. Aaron, if it be your wish for Erica to be bound to you, 
Place the ring on her finger and as you do, repeat after me. Erica, this is ju just as this circle is without end. My love for you is eternal. With this ring, I make this vow to you. Aaron, I have not the right to bind thee to Erica. Only you have this right. If it be your wish, say so at this time and place your ring in the palm of her hand. Erica, if it be your wish for Aaron to be bound to you, place the ring on his finger and as you do, repeat after me. Aaron, just as this circle is without end, my love for you is eternal. With this ring, I make this vow to you. The hand fasting cord is an ancient tradition that symbolizes the joining of these two persons, soul to soul, heart to heart, and body to body, across time and space, before birth and after death. Know now, before you go any further, that as your pathways have crossed, you have already formed ties with one another. As you enter into this engagement, you should strive to make real the ideals which give meaning to both this ceremony and to your lives. The promises made today and the ties that are being bound here greatly strengthen your union as you grow in the nurturing environment that this union creates. Do you seek to enter this ceremony? Now, if you will take left hand to left hand and right hand to right hand, crossing to form the infinity symbol, <laughs> Will you each share each other's pain and seek to ease it? Will you respect each other's gifts and individuality? And so the first finding is made. Will you share each other's laughter? Will you look for the brightness in life and the positive in one another? Mm -hmm. So the binding is made. Will you share in each other's dreams and goals? Will you dream together to create new realities and hopes? and so the binding is made. Will you each honor and uphold the other? Mm -hmm. Will you both seek to never give cause to break that honor? Mm -hmm. And so the binding is made. Now, it's a time for you to exchange the vows with each other. 